Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I think that we're live. Uh, just checking over here to make sure it's all going okay. Yeah, it looks like it is. Um, so Happy New Year. Hope you've had a uh, great celebration. I've missed last week. It was all Christmas and it was crazy. We were away uh, up north. But I just wanted to say, hope you've had a great Christmas and also a, an amazing New Year. Um, got a few things to discuss with you today. I mean, there's not much on the rumour mill, so we're going to go through some stories, some interesting ones, I hope. Uh, and we can also open it up to uh, Q&A as well. But let me, we're just in pre-show actually, let me start the timer. Uh, where are we? Start. I'm only a couple of minutes late. Um, so yeah, let's uh, open up the chat and just see who's here. Casper uh, said way too late now. <laughs> I know I've been changing the times. Uh, it's a bit awkward. I will get back to full normal times um, a little bit later on once we get back over the holiday period and everything else like that. So uh, we'll wait on that. Um, once we get back to that, we'll get back to normal programming after this month. Although I must say it's only, uh, what, five weeks until I'm in the US. So it, uh, it is getting very, very close now. Now, I am drinking Coke today. I'm not having a beer because I've got to work after this. Um, but I am having a, a Legend Coke. Uh, it matches me perfectly. <laughs> I think I've got a bit of apple stuck in my tooth. Hmm. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm having, I'm staying off the um, Golden Nectar uh, today. Uh, I might have one with Kerry later on. All right, so let's check what people are saying. Casper um, saying Happy New Year. Thanks, Casper. Gerald says, Hi, David. Hi, Gerald. How are you? Uh, Gerald's been amazing. Gerald's been organising all of my US trip. Uh, we're going to be going to some amazing places together. Uh, so if you are interested in joining us, check what's on the uh, Photography Videography School. I will put that link down below. Um, but we will be having a lot of meetups and stuff like that uh, all through, well, I mean, like LA and uh, Vegas and also uh, potentially up at Yosemite and also San Francisco and areas like that. Uh, we're going to have a road train hopefully going through... Um, the desert areas in Las Vegas. So please join us if you want to uh, and take along. Um, Mirla says, Happy New Year all. 2020 will be another amazing year. Let's hope it is. With lots of Sony releases. One big one, the A7S III with flippy screen and hyper smooth IBIS. <laughs> oh, I don't think we're going to get the flippy screen though, but you never know. Hello everyone from Northern New South Wales. Hope you're safe, Jamie. Um, Jamie says, hope your family is safe, David. Yeah, we're fine down here. Now, just to sort of talk about that, uh, we're okay down in Melbourne at this stage. Um, it's, it's more across uh, towards our coastline that is starting to get really bad. Um, we usually get really bad in February, March. That's what worries me because our fires are usually terrible in, in February, March. Um, and I would think the way things are going, we're going to have a really bad one. Uh, but just to put things into perspective, just so you guys know what's going on, uh, I just wanted to show this to you. Um, this here is, um, let me just see if I can make this a bit bigger. Oop. So this will show you... Um, Roughly about the size. Now, it's grown since this yesterday. I think it's over to 6 million hectares now. Uh, the 2019 Amazon fires, are, um, well, there were 9,000 hectares, uh, basically, that burned. The 2018 California fires were uh, 1,800,000 hectares. And the Australian bushfires so far, now, this is what worries me, is because we're only just started summer here, and they are predicting that these bushfires are going to burn for months. Um, and they're saying that it's over 500,000, 500, 5 million hectares so far has burnt uh, in the Australian fires. And let me just show you where they all are, just in case if you are interested, because I did post something in the Photography Videography School uh, just before. Um, so this picture here, just see if I can make, oh, I can't make it bigger. Can I click on it? This picture here is showing all the areas. Now we're down here in Melbourne. So like I said, we're safe at the moment down here. Um, but like I said, our turn is to come because we're, like I said, we, we are tinder dry here. 
uh, and we usually start fires sort of February, March. That's when our really bad fires have been here. So I would say that we're going to be affected uh, eventually. So it's just a matter of time. But all these little red dots that you're seeing here are the fires that, that traveling basically from Melbourne up to here. Now that is, if you look at the whole lot in distance here, uh, you're looking at around about, what, 9,000 kilometers, um, 900 kilometers, sorry. Um, and they're worried that all of these fires are basically going to join up. Now, this is what the worry is uh, with how it's, it's, it's being. Um, th there's been 300, well, basically 400 homes lost in New South Wales. We've had uh, 24 structures, um, well, around about 30 or 40 homes here in Victoria. Um, the animal... Well, basically the animals also is what is horrible too because they're saying we've had half a million, sorry, half a billion um, wildlife uh, animals have been killed. Um, so it's devastating and we've had 28 people missing now. Uh, so whether any of those will show up, but they're worried now that 28 people are missing. So yes, it is extremely bad and, and I do want to thank the fire, the CFA uh, and everyone involved in that uh, for protecting us all. Um, they are amazing. Uh, they're all voluntary. The, most of the CFA are voluntary. Um, you know, they don't get paid and things like that. So risking their lives and a number of them have died already. Um, so they've just done an amazing job. So that sort of keeps you up to date uh, with what's happening with me. At the moment, yes, we're fine. Uh, but I would think things in the near future will probably change and they could change at any time. We live in quite a bushy area here where I live. Um, and we have almost been evacuated when we had one big fire a while ago. So I would think that, you know, we potentially may get uh, involved again uh, sometime, hopefully not in the too near future, but it wouldn't surprise me if things get bad uh, later in summer. So that's it at the moment anyway. So thanks everyone for asking about how we are. Um, at this stage, we're fine. I just, you know, wanted to let everyone know that the people on the West Coast uh, are really suffering and it's meant to be catastrophic on the weekend. That's why in the photography videography school I put out a post to say uh, if you do hear this because all communications are down it's hard to contact people to get out because they want people to get out. They've brought the Navy in uh, and the Navy are moving 2,000 people out on the boats now. Um, so yeah so that's basically where we're up to on that. So let me just come back to the chat just so you know What's going on here? Um, Jamie says, hello everyone from North and New South Wales. Yeah, I read that before. Uh, even said, um, happy new year, David. I just want to thank you for this channel and especially the Facebook group. Don't forget to join our photography videography school Facebook group, guys, because uh, we're up to nearly 6,000 people now on that group. Uh, and it's an amazing group, very positive. Uh, we don't put up with any crap, basically. Uh, so yeah, please join us on that. Uh, we'd love to see you there. I will put the link down below too. Um, Langston says he made it. Good to see you here. Um, Langston, I hope you're enjoying your um, ATM Mini. I'm loving mine. I absolutely love it. And Thomas said, greetings, David. Let's get this new year started right. Long Rider said, my master plan is working first. <laughs> Fro now, Granger. I'm going to talk about um, the Granger story as the first story today. Uh Chris said, hello, David, and happy new year. Nice day in Los Angeles. Great day for a corona. I know I should be having one with you guys. Hope you're safe. Well, I've discussed that already, so you know all about that. Uh, hello from North Carolina, David. Hello, David. Uh, Dutch Aussie Production says, happy new year to you. Happy new year to you too, mate. Um, Fritz says, hello from Tampa, Florida. John said, happy new year. Happy new year, John. Tasm said, hello from Orlando. Gerald says, hi, um, from Gerald, hope you're staying safe. We are all seeing the terrible fires in Australia. Yep, they're not good. Uh, Altrix here as well. G'day, Altrix. Sorry about your loss of your friend too. I heard that, uh, read that comment the other day. Uh, Chris said, hello. Triple zero seven said, perfect timing for his American night owls. Altrix said, already one thumbs down. You know, the funny thing is, Altrix, I got, I think I said to Kerry yesterday, and I can't believe it. What is wrong with these absolute lunatics? <laughs> You're going to love this because on the Christmas message that it was just me and Kerry saying happy Christmas to everyone, we got three thumbs down. What psycho gives three thumbs down for a Christmas message to say happy Christmas? 
Oh, oh my God, they, they are such losers. <laughs> laughed when we saw it. I thought, you can't give a thumbs down on a Christmas message. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's such a crack up. I've got two in here already. Why do they watch if they don't like me? It just cracks me up. Um, I know it's funny. Uh, so yes, it is funny, uh, Altric. Ben, g'day Ben. How are you? I passed a wedding um, contact on to you this morning, Ben, so hopefully she'll get in touch with you. Uh, we're booked for the day, so I hopefully she'll get in touch with you. Uh, Chigan said, watching from Instabull, how good is the Sigma 2470? Uh, is it better than the 28 to 75? Well, I think, look, uh, Sigan, if you're talking about the quality overall, uh, yes, the Sigma is better. I mean, it's sharp to the edges, whereas the Tamron can be a little bit softer on the edges. Uh, if you're talking about the centre of the lens, they're both about the same. Um, the Sigma is a brilliant lens. I mean, at that cost, the Sigma 2470 really is a, a bargain buy if you compare it to what you'd pay for the GM version. Um, the only thing I would say with the Tamron is if you like to travel a little bit lighter uh, and you want that macro ability, which the Tamron almost has, uh, the Tamron is the way to go. And that's why I love it so much. I love being able to put it on a gimbal, uh, just use it as an all around lens. And for me, that's, that's a real benefit. I don't need the 24 because I've got the I've got the GM 24, so I don't need that. Um, but if you if you were thinking about getting one or the other, you really have to sort of think. Well, if you don't mind the weight, I would definitely get the Sigma. Um, if you are more inclined to say I'd like to keep things a little bit light, uh, and I would light the extra. I mean, the 75 can be handy because it's it starts to get it as a better portrait lens, and the macro ability. I'd go for the Tamron. You really can't go wrong with either. Um, they're both very, very uh, well-priced lenses. Um, Altric saying, Happy New Year. Same to you, Altric. Uh, Nivak said, Happy New Year too. Is there a meetup schedule for the Facebook group? Um, just found out I need to be in LA for a week trip away, uh, the week of WPPI. Nivak, um, just contact Gerald because Gerald is basically <laughs> doing all of the timelines for us. We're going to be pretty flexible, but there are going to be a few meetups, uh, particularly in LA. And we're also going to have a few meetups in uh, WPPI. Um, Phone Amir contacted me the other day too to say he wants to have a meetup and we're going to go out in a bus. I have to talk to Gerald about that, but we've got the car anyway, so we can just go with wherever Phone Amir's going. He was going to get like a mini bus and we're going to go and do a photo walk or a shoot somewhere. Uh, so there's going to be heaps of shoots that are going to be organised. Uh, Aaron is now coming. Um, Aaron J. Anderson is now joining us with his wife. Um, so that's going to be really exciting as well. So we're going to have so many people there. Uh, we're just going to have a ball, guys. Uh, you know, I can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. Um, Nivek said, David, the pic of the young girl uh, and the dead Rue you posted on Facebook was nearly heart-wrenching. Yeah, I know, it was terrible. Uh, I thought that was a very powerful image. That's why I wanted to share it. Um, you know, to say, like I said, I believe that they're saying now that there's been half a billion animals killed, which which is... You can't fathom that much destruction, really. Triple zero seven. It's fortunate Australia housing is less dense. Yeah, exactly. In CA, there are about three thousand homes destroyed in the Santa uh, Rosa fire. Yeah, we are lucky, I suppose, in that way that our population is so small, uh, and it is so uh, well not dense at all. Because if it was dense, uh, you know, we would really be in trouble. Um, we did lose 2,000 homes, no, it was 2,000 lives got lost, um, I think, I can't remember. Anyway, we have lost lots and lots in previous fires, uh, but let's hope it's not that bad. But yeah, our homes are spread widely apart, so that is one great thing. I know you guys in California also get incredibly bad fires as well, so you know exactly what we're going through. Um... Gerald says, if you include the other Western states that had fires in 218 figures, 9 million acres burned uh, in the same spread of fires, you have more people in danger than we had in the states. Yeah, and I suppose, Gerald, that, like I said, that number that I showed you, that 5 million, uh, has now gone over to, I think it's nearly 7. Um, we're going to, I don't know what it's going to end up because they're predicting these fires are going to go for months. Uh, so I would say, who knows? Uh, how many acres uh, or, you know, that it's going to be burnt. Um, remember, too, we're talking about hectares as well, Gerald, not acres. Um, 
Long Rider says, is there a donation fund to help? Look, there is. There's lots of... Um, you're better off to go to the Salvation Army, Long Rider, if you're interested in donating to uh, the Australian fires. There is one. I've thought about doing one, and I may still do it yet. Um, I might do that and then pass that money on to the appropriate people as well. So I might set that up as sort of things, you know, keep going. Uh, it's all just chaos at the moment, though. I mean, people are being evacuated, and like I said, uh, I think it's they're, they're trying to get 4,000 people out of... Um, uh, uh, the north coast there in one area that's blocked off the problem is these roads there's only one way in and one way out people can't get out you know and that that's the issue so they've brought the navy in to take them out um so yeah so but yes i may do that long rider um uh, happy new year david a new decade yes i know it is it's the 20s we can finally say we're in the 20s again <laughs> Uh, Creative Film said, sup everyone. Jolini said, thank you for putting the scale of the fires in perspective. It is massive. Yep. Well, like I said, it's going for, it would now be roughly 900 kilometres. If you look at the, the distance between Melbourne and Sydney, the way it's going up there, you know, it's probably around 900 kilometres long. It, it is nuts. Um, hello from Atlanta. Hope you stay safe. Well, we certainly are at the moment. Hello from Singapore. Uh, Scott's speaker said, uh, hi from Maryland, love the shirt. Thank you. How good is this shirt? I know. I should do this as merch. <laughs> Shouldn't I? It should be a merch. Um, Hank's photo said, any more updates on the A7S3? No, we'll probably talk about that in, in the uh, thing of going over the top 10 news stories shortly, actually. Um, Sigma does macro too, right? Yeah, I don't think it gets as close, though. Um Oh, Gerald's saying it focuses closer than the Tamron. Oh, thanks, Gerald. So I was wrong. Well, that's that's a great benefit then. Well, well that's fantastic. Um, Donald said hello from Texas. Um, Scott said uh, sold the A73 and got the A7R3 from B&H. Uh, I am a cropper. Uh, price was close to the same. Well, you got a great deal. The A7R3 at the moment is an amazing value camera. It really is. Uh, Jamie said, any plans for more Melbourne meetups? Yeah, there will be, Jamie, definitely. I'll, I'll have to get around to doing that. Uh, I'd like to do that summer, uh, sometime this summer. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, I'll be notifying everyone in the photography videography school when that runs anyway. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, Gerald said, uh, we will have meetups in LA, Vegas, Nevada, Arizona. Just keep up the Facebook group and we'll post the dates and places. Yeah, and like I said, we'll also be in San Francisco too, Gerald. So... Uh, we can certainly have a meet up there. Steve said, Happy New Year. Have been playing with my Christmas presents, the 200 to 600. Now, I must mention, too, that Gerald uh, found there was an issue with the 200 to 600 mil. Um, so I might just come full screen and just talk about this because that reminded me. I would have forgotten. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, Gerald reminded me. Uh, what Gerald found was that there was an issue with his 200 to 600. It was getting specs. Uh, it, we're not sure what it is. It, was it specs of metal, Gerald, or what are they saying it was? But uh, they were finding specs of dust or something that was inside the lens. Now, Gerald had to send it off to Pro Support, and there was a three-day turnaround to fix it. Um, and he got it back, and it was all fixed, and that's fine now. But it, it also seems that apparently the 135 Sony 1.8 lens also has the similar problem. Uh, I checked mine, and mine is crystal clear so I haven't got any of the issues at all but Gerald did so Gerald unfortunately has got two of them that have this problem with the dust specs inside it so it's the 200 to 600 and the 135 Gerald's had it in both cases uh, and you have to send it off uh, to get fixed uh, now if you're it, obviously they're all still going to be under warranty if you're part of the Sony Pro support who are amazing uh, it's like I said a three-day turnaround uh, it's the same here that the Sony Pro support is brilliant um, when people whinge about that I just don't think they understand what Pro support is because it's I think it's the best that's out there um, so anyway that is a problem if you've got those two lenses so what you do is you grab a torch and you shine the torch inside the lens um, and see if you can see any of those uh, little they'll flicker or, or speckle if you've got the, those uh, little bits of dust or whatever they are inside the lens. Uh, if you can see that, well then obviously it's up to you whether you want to send it off to get fixed or just to leave it. 
I mean, sometimes there's two think there's two things to think about uh, with that type of thing. Is that one thing you've got to think about is that sometimes, if you have a perfect lens, and I know Gerald's happy with what he said because they've tested it and everything else. Uh, but sometimes, if you've got a perfect lens and it's working fine you may want to leave it and not get it fixed. And I've talked about this before because dust does not tend to show uh, unless you're using, say, F22 or something like that and shooting the sky. It may not tend to show. So you, if you've got a completely perfect lens and you're really happy with it, well, then you have to make up a decision whether you do want to send it in. Now, like Gerald said, they did fully test it and things like that. But I have heard of stories before where people have sent gear off and they just don't come back the same. Like, you know, you might have uh, fo focus, not focusing issues, but it might not be as sharp uh, and things like that. So it is something that you do have to consider. I think, to be completely honest with you, if I'd seen them in my 135, I probably would have ignored it. But I know Gerald wanted to get his fixed, and he's totally happy with what got done. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm never shooting at, at closed down apertures. So for me, I would probably never, ever see it anyway. And I just adore how sharp my 135 is. And I'll, I would be paranoid about sending it away. And it may come back not to be quite as good. Now, I know, uh, like Gerald said, uh, he put a list down that they checked everything uh, that they did. And it was a really extensive list um, that they did there. But you have always got that potential. Like anything, the second they open something up and try and put, put something back together... Uh, it may alter a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying that's going to happen. It's just something that you can think about. Um, but like I said, I know Gerald's happy with what they've done with his. Uh, but something to be aware about, guys. So if you do have the 200 to 600 or the 135, you may want to check it. And if you do feel like it's an issue for you, uh, get it serviced. But I checked mine, and my 135 was crystal clear. Um, let me just come back. We will start the news soon. I'd just like to catch up with everyone. Uh... Steve said, Happy New Year. Have you been... Uh, oh, I read that one. That was about his 200 to 600. Yeah, well, you might want to check it, Steve. So do t put that torch down it and just see if you have any of those speckles that are in that lens. Uh, Henry said, uh, Hi, people, and Happy New Year to all been watching for months and finally managed a live view. Welcome, Harry. Henry, I mean. Um, Happy New Year uh, from Como, I think it is. Altric said, Two thumbs down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It always happens. Um, Henry said, visited Australia East Coast last year and it's a great place. Hope the fires recede soon. Yeah, I think they're going to be burning for months though, uh, unfortunately. Um, what was that one? Um, any lens for APS-C that's useful for indoor shooting? 16 to 55, 2.8 will kill my bank. Just get, well, the 16, that's what I'm using now. The Sigma 16, uh, 1.4 is brilliant. Uh, that's a great lens if you want to use it for indoor shooting. Uh, you know, you've also got the 50 mil, I think, and then what is it, the 35 that you can get as well. Um, any of that fast glass will do. Um, Altric got the 35 1.8. Wow, congratulations, Altric. That is a great lens, incredibly sharp. Um, Leanna, greetings from Maryland. Hi, Leanna, welcome. Uh, Chris said, mine has specs uh, and an internal scratch. Wow. So what are you going to do, Chris? You're going to send it in? Uh, Tasm said, I had the same issue with my Sony 70 to 300. Wow, so perhaps it's fairly widespread then. So it looks like we've had an issue with the 70 to 300 and also the, um, uh, what was the other lens that we had there that we said? The 70 to 300, yeah, and the 200 to 600 uh, and the 135. Gerald said, the specs look like some manufacturing material inside the lens. Folks, finding them in a 70 to 200 GM, 400 GM, ah, oh, so there's more. Uh, 100 to 400 GM, 135 GM, and the 200 to 600 GM. Not all of them have them, but some do. Oh, thanks, Gerald. Uh, Steve said he just checked his 200 to 600 uh, just fine. Uh, Chris said, well, the Sony rep said my work order, uh, set up my work order and send my lease to a TV repair facility. Uh, so sometimes support is not great, just depends on who you get. So you're not in uh, Sony Pro support then, Chris? Uh, I would say, if it's just gone to that sort of facility. Um, where are you from, Chris? Uh, if you're in the US, you should be in Sony Pro Support. Um, Ziki said, um, Happy New Year, same to you. Triple Zero Seven said, I haven't checked, not going to. I know sometimes you're better off not knowing. Um, 
Gerald said, Chris K, uh, your issue was in Canada. Oh, okay. G'day, Ike, how are you going? Uh, Marcus said, watching on two devices to counteract the thumbs down. I love it. You can give me two thumbs up then, Marcus. Uh, hi, all, Photomiak is here, even though uh, you can't see my name. Oh, it says Photomiak, I can see that. You Perhaps you just can't see it, Ike. Uh, we can see it fine. All right, guys, well, let me just start up the internet now. Turn your speakers down because someone complained that I had the speakers up too loud. Uh, I must have to, I must adjust that, um, redo it, and, 